If you're looking to achieve clear vocals in your mix, there are two major things that you need to avoid. One is distortion. Two is background noises. So in today's video, I'm going to show you a few tricks that you can use to overcome these things. Hi, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Che. I make music production tutorials for beginners on YouTube. I post new videos every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So make sure you subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you get notified. So before we get started, I've got something to announce. I've made mixing templates for Cubase 5, Cubase 10, and FL Studio. So these templates come with already configured lead vocals, backing vocals, and these are already sent to their respective group channels with effects already applied to them. So all you need to do is simply record your vocals in their respective tracks. Let's say for example lead vocal, you record in lead vocal, backing vocal in backing vocal. So you can download these templates in the link in the description below. Just make sure you follow this link and you can download the templates. So one important thing I would like to point out is that the mixing process to some extent has nothing to do with loudness. During mixing, the only thing that you're trying to achieve is to make your vocals stand out and make them sit in the mix. So loudness comes in the process of mastering. Therefore, the best way to avoid distortion and noises in your mix is by mixing low. Mixing low is just a situation where your entire mix is playing way below the zero mark. So I'm not trying to confuse anyone here because I know on this channel we've been mixing between negative six and negative three. So I just want to say that is okay. The lower you mix, the more advantages you get. Some advantages you get when you mix low are that one, there is no room for distortion. The second one is as you bring down the volume of your vocals, you will observe that some of the background noises would disappear and leave your vocals clear. Honestly, can I say what I mean? Don't you play with me? So the other thing to avoid if you want to achieve clear vocals is using too much delay. For delay, you need to use just enough and not too much. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a brand new video. Feel free to comment in the comment section below. You can suggest what you'd want to see in the next video. Also follow me on Instagram and let's chat from there.